Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams, and I'm here today in mini tab 18, and I'm going to show you how to calculate a correlation coefficient and a covariance um, for a pair of variables. Remember, in mini tab, we want to have um, each variable have its own column. So, what I have is here I have the number of tornadoes in a year and then the number of deaths in that same year um, attributed to tornadoes. And I've simply entered them in a single column um, this way. And remember that this 2008 has two um, values associated with it, uh, number of deaths and number of tornadoes. So um, I'm going to come up to my menu and I'm going to click on stat basic statistics and I'm going to come down and I'm going to do the correlation first remember that when you hover over a menu item in mini tab it'll tell you what that function is and so we know that our correlation coefficient simply measures the strength and direction of a linear relationship between two variables so I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up my dialog box. And so the two variables that I'm interested in are going to be um, in columns C2 and C3. So I want tornadoes and deaths. And so what I need to do is I need to move those over there into this window. And I can do that using the select button right down here. So I'm going to click on tornadoes, I'm going to select, I'm going to click on deaths, I'm going to select, and then Minitab gives you an option um, of either the Spearman row or the Pearson correlation. We're just going to do a basic Pearson correlation. Um, if you need the p-values, um, you can click here. If not, I mean, it's just a, an on-off, right? and now I'm going to hit OK. And mini tab's going to think for like two nanoseconds. And it's going to give me in my session window, right? It's going to give me my Pearson's correlation of point zero point zero two four. So literally, that's all there is to that. So now I'm going to come back to um, my data here in my worksheet. And I'm going to come back to stat, go to basic statistics. I'm going to come down. And now what I want is I want the covariance um, of, the, um, of the pairs of variables. So again, here's my um, dialog box. So last time we selected the two variables by using this select function down here at the bottom. I'm going to show you another way you can do it. So if I come up to tornadoes and I double click, it jumps over. Now I'm going to go to deaths. I'm going to double click and it jumps over. So um, either use the select feature or just double click and they'll jump over in the variable window for you. Um, that's literally all you need. And now you hit OK. You'll see that it's opened up another, um, it's opened up uh, your session window and put your information um, together. And so it's going to show you the covariances. And the covariance that I wanted was between tornadoes and deaths. So I'm going to look at this matrix and I'm going to pick the one right here where my row intersects my column. And so now what I know is I have a positive linear relationship. Um, the covariance is 3.1778, um, but I have a correlation coefficient of only 0 0.02. So positively correlated, probably not um, as strongly as we would think. So literally, in mini tab 18, um, that's all you need to do to find both your correlation coefficient and your covariance. Hope you guys have a great day.